Today, I've got a bit of a different demo for you. Kiramase has launched quite a few cool new features in the last few weeks, and I thought it would be fun to recreate an old demo to show you some of the improvements, but also how much faster and, and more fun I think it is. So we're going to take this uh, Linktree clone. Uh, at the time, I'd said I'd, I'd built it in, in 10 minutes. It actually turned out to be a bit more like 15. Um, I think we can do it in 10 minutes now, and I think we can make it look a lot cooler. Um, so I'm actually going to show you what the finished product is uh, right as we get into it. You can see we have a landing page. Um, uh, we are going to create an account. Uh, Nico test one, two, three, sign up. I make a new page. Uh, my page is going to be called Kiramase. Uh, we're going to have uh, Kiramase resources. And the Slack is going to be called uh, Kiramase page. Uh, I'm going to head into here. Uh, I'm going to create my first link. First link, test.com. I'm going to create a second link. Uh, second link, test.com. And uh, we are going to have to subscribe to share this page. Let's add an email. Uh, test at email.com, uh, test person, uh, we are going to go to billing, uh, we are going to subscribe, head off to Stripe, put in our details, go back to our page, head into the edit, make the page public, you'll see now, open the uh, new page in a new browser, and there, that's what we're going to build. So let's see how fast we can do this. I'm going to close this. Uh, I am going to head back to localhost 3000. Let's quit out of here. I'm going to exit this browser, exit this terminal, sorry, exit this. Jump out of this directory and create a new next app. We're going to call this clone link tree. We're going to say yes to everything here. Using app router, Tailwind CSS, um, we are going to jump into that new directory and we're going to run Kiramase in it. We're going to use Shatsian UI. Um, we are going to actually, you know, I'm going to use... Um, actually going to use the latest version available to everyone on PMPM. Uh, so Shats, uh, Kiramase in it, Shatsi UI. Uh, we're going to use Prisma with SQLite, Lucia for our authentication, and Stripe as uh, an additional package. I'm also going to be doing this in a bit more of a speed run format to see how fast we can do this. So I won't be talking through everything, um, but I will be mentioning what I'm working on. Uh, so let's run our first generate command. Uh, we're going to generate uh, pages as our first uh, model. Um, it's going to have a name, uh, a description, description, yes, another field, it's going to be slug, and then uh, public, uh, no other fields, uh, yes, uh, page links, uh, title, and then URL, no other fields, no, no, yes, great, no. Cool. Uh, I'm going to jump into the project, add uh, my Stripe keys. Stripe. Great. And then I'm going to make one change to the schema. Uh, we're going to go and make this slug unique. Great. We're going to run bun db generate, bun db migrate. Oh, sorry, that's we actually want to just run bun db push, not bun db migrate. And then let's run bun dev. Head to the uh, localhost 3000. We've got our landing page already done. Uh, let's go to sign in. We are going to create a new account. Call this test, uh, test123. Great. Go to pages. First thing I want to do is open a new editor so we can do both at the same time. I'm going to go to the page form, and I'm going to find the public, um, the public, if you see, uh, the public field, and I'm going to uh, comment it out for the time being because I don't want the user to be able to make the page public without paying. Uh, so we're going to make our first thing here. Must say resources, uh, resources that are helpful. And then the slug is going to be called Kira Um You'll see right off the bat as well. Something really cool is that because we have a unique, uh, we have error handling already sorted uh, because this is a unique field. If I try and create this, there'll be a DB constraint error and it won't get created uh, right away. Um, so let's create our shareable page now. We're going to go and create a new group called shared uh, share page.tsx. This is going to be export default function shared page. It's going to take in params, which are typed as params slug. I forgot to add that, which I'm going to do quickly. Um, return main hello uh, we are going to add a slug like that and we're going to pop the page in there i really can't spell today perfect um so now if i were to uh pre uh, jss and params 
should give us out localhost 3000 slash share slash kiramase should give us a slide, great. Um, so now we're gonna head to the queries for the page. I'm gonna head down here um, and I'm gonna copy this whole function and we're just gonna update it. Um, we're gonna say get by slug. We're gonna take in the slug, actually. Yeah, we'll change that to slug. So ID is slug, I don't have a ton of time so I'm not gonna update all of this. We don't need to take in the session. Um, so that's great. And then we're gonna say where slug is equal to page ID here. So that should be enough that we can now pull it in here if we make the function asynchronous. Um, const equals await get pages by slug. Uh, get page by slug with page link. Give it the params.id. Um, oh, sorry, not params. No, it's params.slug. Pull out the page. Pull out the page links. We're going to say if um, if page equals null, then not found. Um, if page dot public equals false, then we're going to return main. This page is not public. Um, great. So this page is not public. Great. We're already finding it. Um, I'm going to head to V0. Um, like last time, I already scaffolded up a, uh, a link tree page. We're going to highlight it here. Copy it in like that, like so. I'm going to head down and all these links we're gonna remove because we're just gonna map over the um, over the page links. So we're gonna import this from the right place this time. Home icon, great. Uh, let's take this entire component, wrap page links dot map uh, L and then in here, great. We're gonna go back. We're gonna add a key of L dot ID. Um, this is gonna be l.url, again, if I can spell. Um, and then this is gonna be l.title. Cool, uh, we're gonna make this John Doe is going to be page.name, and this is gonna be page.description. Awesome, okay, so this page should be done now, although we can't see it because this page isn't public. Um, I have, uh, let's add very quickly, Two page links, uh, first page, test.com, uh, second page, test.com. Wow, those sonar toasts are really nice. You can see it's public. We have no way to change it. Um, so I have cheated in one way. I prepared one component in advance, and that was because I ran out of V0 credits. And so um, I couldn't I couldn't generate it. Uh, it's going to be called toggle public, and it's going to do exactly that. It's a very simple component, and I actually copied it from Shadzi and UI's example components cards. It's just this component here, but everything up to the input and um, uh, so toggle public component. It's really simple. It's 70 lines of code. Uh, we'll see it in a second. If we go to the page ID, we're going to head here. We're going to go down, uh, and then we're going to insert it right above the page links, we're gonna call this toggle, well, it is gonna import it as toggle public. See what it accepts, it takes in a page, which is our page, and then it takes in an is subscribed prop, which is a Boolean. Um, let's pull in, Kiramase already generates some really helpful Stripe uh, related uh, function to return is subscribed, is canceled, all this kind of thing, everything related to the uh, subscription. So let's give it, uh, we need to wrap this in a Boolean or um, cast it to a Boolean, uh, is subscribed, great. Uh, so if we go back to the app, we should see now that great. Uh, this is the component, very simple. And then there's an overlay saying you need to subscribe to show this page. Uh, let's open up the um, Stripe uh, terminal, uh, CLI, sorry. This is automatically added to your um, your package JSON. So let's uh, click subscribe. Let's add email to subscribe. So we're gonna say test at test.com, test. And now we're gonna go to billing, fill in our credentials. Great, that's all set up. We go back to our resources. Um, we are going to watch this here, uh, make public, perfect. And then the only other thing we need to do is we need to head back to this toggle public and we just need to change the ID to be uh, page.slug. We can now copy this to our clipboard. We can open up an incognito window, open that up and there we've got our page. So. Really as simple as that. Everything very straightforward. The only thing, like I said, I kind of cheated on was this component here, but it really is a super simple component. 
it's a card. Um, if subscribed is true um, or is false, then it has it prints out an overlay on top. Otherwise, it um, it has a button that we saw. If we just say, let's just make this equals false. Um, and so you can see we have this button here. Um, and when you click it, a very simple on click handler. Um, uh, which one? Sorry, this this one I wanted to show. A very simple on-click handler that runs the update page action, which is already generated for you. This is just a simple server action that works right out of the box, right as you would expect, um, using Zod validators for everything based on the schema that we have in, in Prisma. Um, and just all in all, it, it just works. It's, it's really, it's easy and fun to build with. It even has... Um, form validations built in without any extra libraries. So if we take this, uh, we're in the page schema right now. If we were to add uh, for the page name uh, a Zod minimum length of four characters, and we try and update the page to be less than four characters, you can see like we can't save it. We get errors in line. Um, it, it really is, you think it and, and you think of how you would go about doing it. And typically that is how you do it. Um, it's got optimistic UI here. So if we were to remove, um, or if we were to make any changes, you can see uh, testing, we even on a on a slow connection, let's go to network fast 3G. Um, the, you can see our validation's already there. Uh, one, two, three. Um, this also fails because we didn't meet the unique constraints um, because they both had no slug test. Um, but if I were to go back here and try and create new item, uh, you see that initially the, the modal goes away, so it's very app-like, uh, but the item itself has a lowered opacity to give you the impression that uh, it hasn't been saved yet. Um, it also has, for everyone that loves it, let's stop the um, the slowered connect, slowed connection. It's got light and dark mode across the entire application. Um, and what's cool as well is that uh, you can use uh, Shatsian's themes like right out of the box too. So if we were to go to themes, come up with, let's say we want everything to be red, copy this, add it to the global CSS, um, head down to here, update those colors. Now head back to the application. We should have, we got a 404 right now, but we should have everything that looks kind of as you would expect it to. Um, themed up really fairly straightforward, but um, again, really quick to get up and going and to change things as you would as you would like them and then um with route groups as well you get um really this was something we launched yesterday you get really straightforward permissions across the entire application so like if i try to go to localhost 3000 slash pages i'm going to get thrown right to the, the sign-in page see it as well we've already themed up the sign-in page easy as that um so yeah this is this is where kiramase is at at the moment i think it's super powerful uh, I'm really enjoying building with it and got some cool new features coming in the next few few days, weeks. Uh, so yeah, please play, have a play around with it and let me know what you build because I'd love to see. Thanks.